In terms of my professional life, I grew up with these cats that you've been hearing for the last three days. I grew up with them. So I know chapter and verse where their mindset is. And I know it's not a lot of what I see when I work with schools. Sometimes RTI becomes a place to hand kids off. Sometimes RTI becomes a place, a, 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 a proverbial dumping ground. Sometimes I see RTI groups used as glorified ability groups. Sometimes I see RTI used as a place where we confirm what we kind of already knew about the kids before we already started. I know that's not what the architects talk about. All they think about is getting kids across the finish line and RTI being a vehicle. This all grew out of, hey, there's some kids that need a little more time to learn. There's some kids that need more different strategies to learn. How are we gonna bridge that gap? On our way to the finish line. But there's absolutely a finish line. And I know the architects, I know the, your, your, your entire faculty here. And I know they're all about owning everything. Because that's the only way out of this. We gotta own everything. And that is a frightening proposition because our profession is obsessed with finding new and newer ailments regarding our kids. But you gotta own everything, man. It's the only way out. You gotta own the good, the bad, and the ugly. You gotta own what you created what you inherited, you gotta own the warts, your strengths, your shortcomings, you gotta own your parents, your students. Here's a big one, you gotta own what your community has become.